This is my M1 MacBook Air. And this is my 2017 Intel MacBook Pro. It has a 2.4 GHz Intel Core i5 7360U CPU, Intel Iris Plus Graphics 640, and 8 GB of RAM. Now I've used this computer for general productivity. I've never actually gamed on it. In this video, we're going to be comparing the two computers and seeing which one gives us the most performance in Minecraft. We're going to be putting these two computers through various different tests. We're going to be testing 1.8.9, the latest version. We're going to be trying some Lunar Client. We're going to be doing a Geekbench CPU score and a Unigen Heaven GPU benchmark between these two computers. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so here we are on the 2017 MacBook Pro. So if I just go ahead and I show you the specs here, as you can see, we're rocking a dual core Intel Core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM and Intel Iris Plus graphics. If we go to storage, I used to have 128 gigabytes in this MacBook, but fortunately the non-touch bar 2017 MacBook Pros, you can actually upgrade the SSD in. So yeah, I did that, but yeah, I still haven't used all of it. I haven't even done any gaming on this computer before. I think I did Minecraft on here like ages ago, but it didn't do very well. So it'd be interesting to see how it runs the latest version. Now, unlike in the M1 MacBook Air, we do actually have a fan in this MacBook Pro. So if I open up my Mac fan control here, as you can see, we've just got one fan, I guess one more than the MacBook Air. And we're going to be monitoring temperatures. And uh, yeah, you'll also probably hear the fan through the microphone when we do eventually play Minecraft on here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see what kind of performance we get on a 2017 MacBook Pro compared to the Air. All right, so you guys know the drill by now. The first test we're going to do is a vanilla 1.8.9 test. Then after that, we'll do the latest version. And then we'll do some PvP on both of these systems. Now, one thing I do want to mention is I have actually changed the thermal paste on this 2017 MacBook Pro. The fan speed on this thing used to be ridiculous even when i was just watching youtube on this thing so it'd be interesting to see what kind of difference that makes comparing the two computers so this is where things are probably going to start to heat up here so we need to keep an eye on that but yeah and let's just play a single player i've got a macbook test world here and let's see what kind of fps we get okay so the video settings we're running with is this basically i'm going to put vboss on and straight away oh my god i don't know if you guys can hear this Straight away, the fans have just ramped up. But if we go ahead and look at the Mac fan control here, as you can see, the max RPM is 7,200. And uh, yeah, we're on the max RPM. It's quite loud right now. And if we have a look at our temperatures as well, CPU average about 87 degrees, which is pretty hot. So yeah, let's go ahead and throw up our FPS here. And uh, yeah, just flying around, we're getting about 90 FPS, which is pretty respectable. We even got 100 there, 122. It's pretty good. So this is our memory up here. As you can see, our kind of percentage of how much RAM we've got. But yeah, this is actually really smooth on the MacBook Pro. I was actually really surprised. I was thinking we're going to get about 30 FPS. I mean, yeah, it is getting really hot. And uh, I dread to think what the CPU temperatures are right now. Let's go and have a quick look at that. Oh, wow. 91 degrees Celsius. That is very hot, actually. But yeah, max, <laughs> max RPM on the fan and almost 100 degrees. CPU. But yeah, the FPS is quite good. Let's get switched over to the M1 MacBook Air and see how they compare. All right, so I've just switched over to the M1 MacBook Air now. Now, I apologize if it's slightly orange, the video. It's because for some reason, when I'm mirroring my screen from the MacBook Air to my monitor, it seems to think I've got True Tone on and it's quite weird how it tries to replicate it on the monitor. So I apologize for that. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.8.9 and see how the FPS compares. All right, let's go ahead and open up vanilla 1.8.9. Now that's actually an important point to mention. I am actually mirroring this screen from both computers to my main monitor in order to record this video. So it's going to be fair. They're both doing the exact same thing, but that's just a factor to bear in mind. So if we look at our video settings here, they're pretty much exactly the same. And I'm pretty sure I turned this on on the MacBook Pro. So yeah, let's go ahead and and throw up our FPS. All right. Wow. Straight away, 200 FPS on this thing. That is crazy. <laughs> this MacBook straight away is in there. It's silent. There's no fan noise. Obviously, it has no fan. <laughs> I know a lot of people commented that on my playing Minecraft on MacBook Air video. I know it doesn't have a fan. I just find that crazy. Look at this. 250, 260 FPS just flying around here. Let's go ahead and do a temperature check here. As you can see, we obviously don't have a fan. 
And if we have a look at our temperature on the CPU cores, about 62 degrees and 58 on our GPU. So yeah, much cooler than the 2017 MacBook Pro. But yeah, this is the FPS we're getting. So I think after the first round, I think the MacBook Air takes this. We just completely smoked it. And also bear in mind, we're not even running Lunar Client on these two systems yet. In the third round, we're going to try Lunar Client and do some PvP. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of FPS we get with Lunar Client. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get up the latest version on both computers and see how they compare. All right, so we're back on the 2017 MacBook Pro now. And yeah, let's go ahead and load up the latest version. This is going to be very hot for the MacBook. So yeah, let's go ahead and create a new world here, a new creative world on the latest version. And yeah, latest version at the time of recording is 1.18. Come to think about it, I think this probably isn't doing the CPU much favors right now. Rendering a world and then playing on it. It's, it's going to be hot by the time we've even started. All right, so we've just loaded up a 1.18 creative world here on the 2017 MacBook Pro. And yeah, our fan is probably at maximum right now. I can just hear it. Just It's just very loud. Let's go ahead and throw up our FPS here. It's, it's decent. I mean, yeah, 30 FPS is probably not the best. So if you look at our video settings here, this is pretty much it. V-Sync's off. 8 render distance, fancy graphics, all of this stuff. It's, it's very fluctuating. Wow, we get so much information on the screen on the latest version. Wow. I can see why you guys say this affects the FPS, but there's literally no way for me to show the FPS on vanilla Minecraft on a Mac. We can't get Afterburn or anything like that, which kind of sucks. But yeah, that is the latest version running on the 2017 MacBook Pro. It runs... I mean, you can be the judge of if it runs well or not. Let's go ahead and have a look at our temperatures here. And again, we're at 90 degrees on all CPU cores. Same with the GPU or just about. And we're at the max RPM on our fan. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get switched over to the M1 MacBook Air now. And yeah, let's see how they compare. All right, so just switched over to the M1 MacBook Air now and we're going to run the latest 1.18 on this system. I suspect that this should be no sweat for this M1 MacBook Air. It won't get hot. It won't kick up the fan speed. Go ahead and create a new single player world. Just in case you guys think in the comments that the FPS was affected on the 2017 MacBook Pro because I created a world. Let's go ahead and create one on the M1 MacBook Air. I can definitely say it's creating a lot faster on the M1 MacBook Air. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and throw up our FPS here. And wow, <laughs> the FPS is still quite weird on this thing. The FPS fluctuates quite a lot. But yeah, the barn we've spawned in is pretty flat, so it's probably not the fairest of tests. But yeah, just flying around in unrendered territory. We're getting about 70 FPS. Got about 100 there, which is quite good. A forest. Right, perfect. Right, so let's just load in all of this here and see how vanilla 1.18 runs on the M1 MacBook Air. So yeah, it definitely feels a lot smoother on this computer versus the 2017 MacBook Pro. Wonder if we can get 100 again. Yeah, yeah there we go, 100 FPS. So yeah, it's not much better than the 2017 MacBook Pro, to be honest with you. It wasn't a downright annihilation like the first round was, but still, we're, uh, we're not right into the hundreds and only getting 100 we're just fluctuating quite a lot which is quite weird if we have a look at our temperatures here we're getting about 72 on our efficiency cores 76 degrees on the performance cores and gp is about 49 pretty good and again really impressive how they've done this with the apple m1 chip if you guys are wondering about my video settings on the m1 macbook air here they are pretty much exactly the same as the macbook pro so yeah no uh settings turned down or anything like that it's just completely fair all right now we're going to go to our third test which is going to be lunar client and pvp on both systems so after the second round doing the 1.18 test it looks like it's another win for the m1 macbook air now let's go on to round three all right so just switched over to the macbook pro 2017 and we've opened up lunar client and see what fps we get just quickly all right, so this is Lunar Client on the 2017 MacBook Pro. So I've put my settings down. This is pretty much the regular settings I use on my gaming PC, my M1 MacBook Air. This is just like the standard settings that I use, basically. So we're on 1.8.9 Lunar Client, and our FPS has actually improved quite a lot, actually. We're getting about 200 FPS now on the MacBook Pro, which is really good for 1.8.9 Lunar Client. Let's go ahead and go on Hypixel. All right, here we are on Hypixel Duels Lobby. And yeah, thanks to our lazy chunk loading, our FPS is actually really good on the 2017 MacBook Pro. 
This normally kills a lot of lower end computers, but our FPS is really good. We're getting about 200, 150, 200 in the duels lobby. The only annoying thing is the MacBook is getting really hot. The fans are quite loud. But other than that, the FPS and performance on this computer is pretty good, honestly. And it surprised me quite a lot. All right, let's go on a Hypixel duel now and uh, do some PvP on this thing. So in the duels maps, they're pretty flat. So we're getting a pretty good 200 FPS here, which is pretty nice. Currently PvPing on the MacBook butterfly switch keyboards here. Mine hasn't actually broke, surprisingly. But yeah, really playable on the 2017 MacBook Pro. Good 200 FPS. I wonder if we could get more if we look down, maybe. Maybe if we look up. Can we get 1,000 on this thing? I don't think we can which is quite annoying. About 300 is probably the most I've seen on the 2017 MacBook Pro. All right, so that was actually really good from the 2017 MacBook Pro there. Let's do a quick little temperature check. All right, so yeah, max RPM on the fans and 85 actually on the CPU. So that's pretty good. Graphics are on about 70. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit cooler. Not that you'd really notice it. It's still really hot to touch. But yeah, let's get switched over to the M1 Air now and see what Lunar Client is like on there. All right, so I've just opened up Lunar Client on the M1 MacBook Air here. Let's just again quickly go on the test world here see what fps we get so if we look at our video settings here it's pretty much exactly the same as what i had on the macbook pro these are just the settings where everything just looks its best and yeah fps wise good 500 on single player 700 this is just insane it really is but yeah still pretty good performance though from the 2017 macbook pro that was a welcome improvement using lunar client but yeah let's go on high pixel now on lunar client on the m1 macbook air all right so here we are in the duels lobby here and uh yeah again actually they're about um, well i was gonna say they're similar fps wise in the duels lobby but we did just get like 300 there 400 now yeah the fps is pretty unmatched on the m1 macbook air so yeah performance wise yeah there's just no doubt in the macbook air is just better in every way 500 fps in duels this is things are just insane and we're just comboing people on the macbook air as well it's crazy. But yeah, the keyboard feels a lot more tactile on the MacBook Air as well. So definitely a win in that department as well. But with that being said, we've also got Rosetta, which is just insane how it decodes things. And also that's another important point. I'm running Lunar Client on the M1 native launcher. Not that that really makes a difference because it's still running through Rosetta on the MacBook Air. If you want to see a video where I try out multi-MC on the M1 MacBook Air, seeing if we get a bit more performance, then definitely let me know in the comments. And also, if you want to see an FPS guide as well, Mac Edition, that'd be quite cool. So you guys like my optimization videos, so I could do a Mac-themed one if you guys want to see that. All right, so it looks like after the third round, the Lunar Client PvP test, it looks like it's another win for the M1 MacBook Air. And the temperatures on the M1 MacBook Air are pretty respectable as well. But yeah, if we look at our CPU performance and efficiency, we're getting about 65 with Lunar Client and about 40 on the GPU. So yeah, this thing is just chill. <laughs> this thing is really good. But yeah, we're going to run the last two tests, which are going to be a bit more technical. So yeah, let's get into that. All right, guys. So the fourth test we're going to do is a Geekbench test. Now, if you don't know what Geekbench is, it's basically like a CPU benchmark. And we're basically going to be running that at the same time on both laptops here. And whichever scores higher is basically the winner. And then, yeah, just go ahead and press run CPU benchmark in three, two, one one go right and they're off so yeah this takes not too long about 30 seconds to a minute i'm sure we're going to hear the macbook pros fans kick up while the macbook air is just completely silent so this isn't necessarily like a gaming test this is basically a test of how good the cpus are in both computers i feel like the macbook air is going to be finished quicker but who knows we'll see i don't think there's going to be a lot in it but yeah i'll be back once we've got the scores and the MacBook Air is finished. And here we go. Both of the scores are in. So the MacBook Air, as you can see, we have got 1,726 single core and 7,680 multi core. And the MacBook Pro, we've got a measly 872 single core and 1,959 multi core. Wow. That is a huge difference. That is pretty insane. Another win for the MacBook Air at the end of round four. All right, guys. So for the fifth and final test of the video, I'm going to be running Unigen Heaven on both of these computers. 
Now Unigen Heaven is a GPU benchmark, so this would be a bit more realistic to uh, what kind of GPU performance we get on both of these computers. So yeah, let's see how they both compare in a pretty intensive GPU benchmark. But yeah, run on the MacBook Air and run on the MacBook Pro. Right, let's go. Interestingly, the MacBook Pro is actually quicker. Wow. So this basically just renders through a sequence on some game. I don't know what it's called, but it gives us a result at the end of what kind of average FPS we get. Straight away, we can see the MacBook Air is a lot smoother. It's a bit choppy on the old MacBook Pro there. Yeah, look at the frame rate on that. Wow. Both of these laptops are plugged in, so uh, it's a fair test in that aspect. They're not very fair that uh, this MacBook Air has won every single round so far. Right, so if we go on to the benchmark, I'm pretty sure that's had a playthrough now. As you can see, we've got a little FPS counter here. 75 FPS on the MacBook Air and 28 on the macbook pro so at the end of the fifth and final round of this video it looks like we have a winner and that is the m1 macbook air so guys in conclusion to this video it looks like the macbook air is the clear winner here i don't know what we were expecting to see from the start of the video i thought maybe the macbook pro could possibly win in at least one round but no it was a clean sheet for the macbook air so yeah rip the macbook pro but in conclusion if you can get an intel macbook pro or whatever kind of mac for quite a good price quite a good deal then i definitely still recommend getting them because there are advantages of running an intel mac over an m1 mac one of them being as i said compatibility but yeah that's going to be the video guys i hope you guys all enjoyed this leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new and uh, let me know if you want to see more videos like this on my channel where i compare all of my different devices that i have but yeah thank you guys all for watching and i will see you next time peace